Uh, who knew math could be so controversial? So the last time our next guest was on the show, she caused a bit of backlash online when she made this statement. I believe kids need to know their time tables. I do not believe they need to memorize them. Why? Okay, when you go to not put your hand on a hot stove, is it because you've memorized that or because you learned it? Right, so think about that for a second. So obviously that's Vanessa Vicaria, AKA the math guru, standing by her apparently controversial comment. And the internet, they had a lot to say about this, Vanessa. What happened after that interview? Oh, who knew math could be such a hot topic? But I know. A hot topic, great pun I just made right there. <laughs> Honestly, here's what I think is going on. Um, it's always hard in these quick segments to really elaborate on points. And mm -hmm. you know, what I was trying to say in that segment is it's important for kids to have, it's, it's important for all of us to have math facts stored in our long-term memory, but how we get those facts stored there, we need to be open to diverse methods for diverse learners. So it's not always just about rote memorization. We mm -hmm. need automaticity, which means retrieval of facts. We need flexibility, which means we know how to use those facts. So just being open to how we get those facts. In there. And I think that's such an important call too, because for one person, memorization may be the root. Yes. For the other person, it just may, you may take a different way to get there. And that's what we're going to talk about today, because getting there and getting to the destination can cause people a lot of anxiety, including yourself, mm -hmm. to talk to me about math anxiety. So it's funny because I learned my times tables through rote memorization. Mm -hmm. Me too. And I think, right? And if you think about it, time tables have always been held up as like the holy grail of classroom math. So I think we're all very protective of how you memorize those time tables. But also, so many kids get shut down because they haven't memorized them. And they mm -hmm. get told early in life that you can't move forward, your, your career in math is over. I think that causes a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety around math. And we're about to do math on TV, yes. which is anxiety inducing. And the most important point I want to get across is math anxiety has nothing to do with math ability. You can be anxious around math because we're about to be on TV, because we might get something wrong, because there's a lot of pressure, because it matters to you. But it in no way has to do with your capacity or capability as a math student. And I think it's really important for viewers yeah. to know that and for kids to know that. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about the other route. We know what memorization yeah. is, so let's talk about other ways to get mm -hmm. there. Patterns. Patterns. So one of the coolest things about math is the fact that there are so many parents in patterns inherent in math facts. And our natural tendency as kids, as adults, is to spot patterns. So it's a really great way to teach kids math facts by enabling them to look at the patterns inherent in things like let's, the times let's tables. Let's take a look. Let's okay, take so a what look. you're talking about, okay, so, so walk us through. We're doing nine times tables now because low key, it's my favorite. So mm -hmm. let's look at two major patterns. The first pattern is, if you notice, so look at the middle column, everyone who's watching right <gasps> now. Very, right, exciting. So the look at that. in the tens column, the numbers are decre are increasing yes. from zero to nine. In the ones column, oh they gosh. are decreasing, right? So if you look at that pattern, you could quickly write out the nine times tables in two seconds, just writing the digits from zero to nine. But then look at the column on the right. Every single multiple of nine <gasps> Adds up to nine. Adds up to nine. Okay, the that's great. I, I want to make sure we get the other one in, okay, too. Okay. This is something that I've been using with my kids for a long time. Mm -hmm. We're going to swing the camera around, so you're going to show us how we can do it with our okay, fingers. Okay, viewers, we'll get 30 excited. seconds. Okay, 30, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, everybody, just focus. This is going to be amazing. Okay, hold your hands up like Lindsay and I. Okay, I, we're going to do nine times three, which means on your left hand, put your third finger down, because we're multiplying by three. Mm-hmm. Now, how many fingers do you have to the left of that finger that Two. is down? Two. How many fingers do you have to the right of the finger that's Seven. down? The answer is... 27. 27! And guys, look, it works. Here, what, what's nine times five? Put my fifth finger down. 45. Uh, math Guru, you are the Math Guru. Vanessa, great to see you. Thanks for coming back on. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. Everyone go get it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.